All right, I just sold this copy of The Lost Boys VHS sealed uh, in its original packaging with the watermarks here for $225 on eBay. But did I make a mistake? Uh, that's what we're going to look at here real quick. Uh, if you like these eBay videos, tips and tricks, what I'm selling, stuff like that. I also talked about crypto and AI and stuff on the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, I kind of show you what I'm selling, how much it's sold for, and then tutorials and things like that for selling on eBay. All right, but let's get into it. So I bought this VHS tape a while ago in a, in a lot of VHS tapes. Um, the lot itself contained about 18 VHS tapes, um, most of them random stuff, and there were two sealed movies in there. Um, the Princess Bride and this copy of The Lost Boys. I paid $56.11 for the entire lot. Um, I ended up selling The Princess Bride right away for it looks like my out the door profit was $110. So it probably sold for 140 or something. Um, so I was already profitable up by a lot and I have sold uh, almost all of the VHS tapes that were in that lot already. So at that point I'm like, all right, well I collect horror stuff, which you can kind of see here. I have other VHS tapes. I have like Nightmare on Elm Street 3 here. There's a bunch of Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street VHS tapes down here too. So I collect the horror stuff. But those are my favorite franchises, right? The Thing, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th. So I tend to collect for those and not anything else really. So the Lost Boys VHS tape wasn't really something that I was looking for or looking to keep. But since it's a horror movie from the 80s, I'm like, I'll throw it up on the shelf and just leave it there. And and if I, you know, need some money or whatever, I'll, I'll then sell it. So this morning I was like, oh, you know, it's Halloween time. It's probably a good time to list horror VHS stuff because this is when people are going to be buying it. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to list the, the Lost Boys tape. So, you know, I took it down and, and started looking at comps on uh, on eBay and... If you look at my screen here, you could see that these were kind of the comps. Um, the top one I saw sold for 200, 1988 Warner Brothers factory sealed. I'm like, oh, cool. You know, 200 bucks is pretty good. And then I'm like, oh, well, why are all these other ones selling for like 55, you know, 35, whatever? Not very much. And I noticed like these are Warner Brothers hits. So obviously that's a different printing. Um, but then there were even like these, like, you know, selling for 1050 and this one might not be open. It's listed or might be open. It's listed as other. Um, but like, you know, even these for like 55, like whatever, I'm like, oh, 91. I'm like, okay. But this $200 one was said 1990, 1988. I'm like, all right, well, I didn't think anything of it. I just thought the covers looked the same. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to list mine because I'm in, I'm in no rush to sell it. So I'll list it for $225. And I just copied this listing. I just did sell like this one. So it's not like this one sold for 200 bucks. You know, it might, uh, it might, you know, they must've done something right. So I'll just copy that one and sell it that way. Well, I listed for 225 and within about 15 minutes it sold. So I'm like, oh, you're, it, the, the worst feeling is when something sells that fast, you're like, crap, did I underprice it? So I went back and I, I'm look, looking again and no, this is the highest one I could find like for sale and you know, it, it, I just figured so. Two twenty-five was probably a good price. I actually thought it was too high. I didn't think it was going to sell at all, um, but I liked it on my shelf, and and you know, it wasn't a big deal. So I sold it, and I haven't shipped it yet. It'll ship tomorrow. But I started digging into it a little bit more. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go into the back end of eBay, and if you pay for an eBay store, they give you access to Terapeak product research. And I'm like, I'm going to look back and see what this 1988 one is selling for. Actually, I'm gonna see what they're listed for first. So I went here and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, you know, the highest one. And they're like, oh, 425, um, but these aren't, you know, selling. They're all 119, 119, whatever. And there was one, if you type it the other way, I think sealed VHS, there was one, I don't know why it's not coming up now, but there was a beta 
and it was the beta tape, not the VHS, that was listed for about $1,000. And at first I saw it and I'm like, oh crap, did I just, you know, leave like $700 on the table? And then I realized it was the beta and not the VHS. So I'm like, all right, that's fine. And it was just listed for that. It hadn't sold. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to Terapeak, which um, you can use if you have access. Uh, if you have an eBay store back here on research, go to Terapeak. So I'm like, I'm going to search for Lost Boys VHS Sealed. And this is what I found. There one sold in April for $1,250. I'm like, oh, crap. Did I, like, screw myself out of this? But for the last, you know, what did, what did I set here? 90 days, I think. For the last six months, this one sold for $1,250. Mine that I sold right here for twelve for $250 or $225 was the next highest one, obviously sold today. And then that $200 one that I show you, $149. And these are the 91 versions. This is the 88 one that sold for $200. This one sold for... Uh, the high amount, but all of these are the 91. So did I leave a lot of money on the table here? I might have. Um, but here's the thing. You can't get hung up on what could have been. Uh, you just have to be happy that I made a ton of profit on this already. I mean, I was already profitable on the lot. So an extra 200, and, you know, what was it? It turns out to be like 180 bucks after fees and everything is a good amount. Yes. Do I wish it was a thousand? For sure. Um, but seeing as how none of these, none have sold uh, since this one in April for this amount, um, this one sold recently for 200. I can't really blame myself for not looking into it harder. Um, do I wish I got 1250 bucks for it? Sure. Uh, should I have probably listed it higher? Yeah. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but I'm curious what, as an eBay seller, what would you do in this situation? If you sold something like this for $225 and then you looked at Terapeak and realized that some of these have sold for $1,200 to $1,000 or whatever, um, but only one in the last six months, but they're not necessarily being listed very quickly and there's not many out there, would you cancel the order and relist it and possibly take the hit on the negative feedback? Or would you just go through with the sale and deal with it? Personally, I think I'm just going to go through with the sale. Uh, I'm, I'm totally fine with the price. Yeah, of course, I could always use more money, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, but I will use it as a learning experience to look into these types of things a little bit closer. Uh, there's always these little variations and, you know, first printings versus third printings and classic, you know, classic versions for greatest hits and, and all of this stuff. So there's all these little nuances of things you got to look for. And I didn't realize that on this, you can see it right here. It's hard to see in the video, but it says 1988. Whereas these other copies that you could see on the screen here, it says 1991 there. So this is mine is definitely the 88 version, which I didn't even realize at first. I just looked at the cover and saw that it matched all these other ones that were listed and couldn't see any difference as to why the other one was listed higher. So this is just kind of a reminder that you need to do your research. You need to make sure that you're selling the exact same version of a product um, for the right price point. So if you have a version like this that's from you know, a first printing, make sure you're selling it for the price of the first printing. Uh, and if you're not, make sure you're not selling it for the price of the first printing. Um, I didn't even know this was the first printing when I listed it. I just saw that $200 one and I'm like, I'm going to list it for $225. This could have been the 1991 version for all I knew. I didn't even look. So it's very important to make sure you look at all of the information regarding these products, especially if they're stuff when you don't know a ton about them. Um, I sell more video games and stuff, but the VHS tapes I've sold a little bit here and there. Um, so yeah, I'm curious, do you, would you be upset if this happened to you? Would you cancel the order and relist it and try and get some more money? Would you just chalk it up to a learning mistake? Um, I'm just curious what other people out there would do. Uh, like I said, I think I'm gonna personally just sell it to the person and they got a good deal. And if they want to resell it, they can resell it and see what happens. But personally, I'm happy with the money I got from it. So I don't, 
I don't see anything wrong here. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think, if I should have sold it for more money. Uh, and if you like this content, make sure you subscribe.